this is 6th of February today. This weekend is Most Curious, which is a massive, massive thing for me. I've applied the last three years and didn't get in. It's really difficult to get in because there's so many applications and I managed to get in on a cancellation this year, which in itself is amazing because they still wanted me regardless of how I got there. I'm really excited about making the most of the opportunity. I've been before as a paying customer to previous years and it's an amazing fair. So I'm really excited to be part of it. I've spent the last week and a half planning and prepping all the bits and bobs that I needed to do and I had less notice than everybody else so it's been a bit kind of manic to get everything sorted in time but it's all good and it's all done. I've got a few final bits and bobs to do and then I'm going to pack the car tonight. I'm setting off tomorrow probably at about half nine, ten in order to be there for one o'clock and then I have to set up the stand once I get there and then there's a press launch in the evening and then Saturday and Sunday is just just um, people coming through the door as normal. It's going to be a really, really exciting weekend. I've got a lot of supplier friends who are also going to be there, so it'll be great spending the weekend with them and catching up. And also just being at a really, really great event. I can't wait, to be honest. It's something that I've had as a business goal for the last few years. I knew if I got to that level of being there, then I would be kind of halfway to success. Just being there is like a massive, massive business tick for me. So I'll be on my way tomorrow morning. Hopefully I'm not gonna get stuck in traffic and stuff. I need to just make sure I can get there for one because it's very strict offload times. In a style typical to myself, I didn't pack a thing last night. I am totally rubbish. I seem to have this like anxiety thing where I'm really good at being organized ahead of time, planning for the future. But when it comes to the day or the day before, I go to pieces. I get myself into such a stress about it that I don't do anything and then I make things worse for myself. And it happens every time I have to pack or go away. Um, I, it's just one of those things that is me. I've had a shower, I've got myself ready, I've packed loads of clothes, I've got all of the stuff out of the cupboard for the stand, so now basically I just need to pack the car. I just get a few last minute bits and bobs, like my laptop, um, and make sure I've got everything, and then I'm going to pack the car and set off. It's about just after 10 past 9, and I'm hoping to leave in about 20 minutes, which will give me half an hour extra time in case there's any bad traffic or anything. Um, it's supposed to take me about three hours to get there. So um, fingers crossed, everything's going to be good. I'm mad out of breath. I've been running around. I had issues getting my stand out of the spare room that we had it in because we'd stacked loads of stuff behind it. I managed to get everything else in the car okay. I've got that really bad feeling of I've forgotten something, which I always have, but I'm sure it's fine. I've got all the important stuff. I couldn't get my new copper stand box in because it's too big. They sent me a different one to the one that I had already. So the one that I had, the height of it breaks down into two pieces, which meant the box was just like, I don't know, like a metre or slightly under. But they sent me the full pipe for the height rather than it being in two pieces so it's just one piece which means the box is like nearly two meters and it doesn't fit in my car so i've had to just take the pipes out of the box and just have them wrapped in bubble wrap so it's not ideal but it's just the way it has to be and maybe next time i'll find a better solution i'm still on schedule to be in london on time for one o'clock it's about nearly 10 to 10 so i'm a bit later than i'd hoped because of the issues i had but i'm still gonna be on schedule hopefully so i'm just gonna set off and get on the road just arrived in Shoreditch at Truman Brewery on Brick Lane and it was a real ball ache for that last stretch of the journey getting through London, lots of traffic. It took me an hour and a half to basically get through the central London. But I'm a bit anxious and stressed. I've just arrived. I'm about five minutes late, but they still said I've got half an hour, so that's all good. So I'm going to get unpacked, get in and get my wristband and see what the score is. And yeah, just get everything in so I can kind of relax a little bit because I've got plenty of time to set up. and I'm just heading back to the car to drive to my car park space. There's a hive activity going on, loads of stuff. It's about five to two. 
so I've got to get my skates on because it's going to take me a while to get set up and I want to go and get changed and stuff at the hotel which is just over the road but still got a lot to do so hopefully it won't take me too long so I'm all set up it took me a while longer than I thought it would didn't have really any issues but had issues with parking which really stressed me out made me anxious I've got about half an hour to go check into the hotel and get ready. I've got loads of bags. I've got my stuff and my husband's stuff and other stuff, which was a ton. If you're wondering why I'm so out of breath, I just need to get changed, get back, and then I'm good to go for the press launch evening. The doors are open, people are filtering in, it's getting quite exciting, and there's quite a lot of people here already. Um, so it's going to be a really good evening good precursor to the weekend. I've been fueled on hobnobs and caffeine today. Really, really hungry. I'm hoping to get some food later. I'm hoping that there's going to be lots of people to speak to and it's going to be a really fun evening. Morning, it's Saturday, day one. I'm all ready for the doors to open in a couple of minutes. Lights are on and I'm ready to go. So I'm just going to get some food and some coffee just before we start and it should be a really fun day and hopefully really busy. Yesterday evening there was quite a lot of people here but I didn't really get many people to chat to. There was a lot of kind of friends and stuff so there was a lot of people chatting to people like who they knew here they'd obviously been given free tickets and stuff which is fine but I did speak to somebody who was really interested and really keen so that's all good. Hopefully you know today will be a lot more people to speak to and obviously tomorrow as well. Hoping it's going to be busy and that my feet and my back can handle it all because I'm already struggling with those. It's a seven hour day today which is the longest fare I've ever done so um, I'm hoping it's going to be busy just so that it goes quickly and passes the time. Steady. It wasn't as busy as I thought it would be, but I did keep myself busy all day. I've got some really good conversations with people. I'm hoping today will be busier because the weather's grim outside and I'm hoping lots more people come. I've just been kind of going around taking some pictures and chatting with suppliers. I also got a booking yesterday from someone I met on Friday, which is amazing. But it's taken a little while for the people to filter around to us. It's been open for about an hour and a quarter, but now we'll see how things go. Sunday afternoons tend to be fairly busy so I'm hoping that it's not going to be a long day until half five and then back to Bristol. morning and I'm obviously back home and I'm just chilling on the sofa so I'm planning an admin kind of lazy day today probably do very little uh, I need to catch up I'm very drained physically and mentally and I just need to have a bit of a rest and as much of a day off as I can we got home about after 11 I think it was maybe like quarter past 11 last night so it was a really long day, long drive home. Taking stock of the weekend, which was amazing. I had such a good time, all the couples I spoke to, and just being on the same level as everybody else in that room, like I feel really privileged and honored. It's been a massive goal of mine to do for the last three years. So to have finally have been there, it's just a massive, massive win and a big tick on my business goals. Really proud of myself for having made it. It just went so fast and I'm really sad it's over. I've had a booking, I've had some inquiries, I've had loads of new people following me in the last few days on Instagram. It was really, really worth it and the show itself was amazing. The um, effort and everything that I've obviously been put into 
organising it and the styling and everything. And hopefully I'll be there again next year.